turn out F for grade. That's what I'm talking about. Tiger eye. That's that tiger stripe maple, I think's what they call that. And that's some hard wood right there. Man, got that tiger stripe design in it. You know. Roll by wheels. Turn that in for grade. For real. Yeah. I guess you could say that engine cart was built in Tennessee. Made in the USA. That I'm talking about. Got one of them holes drilled in that top plate right there. Stamped oil. You know, put you a couple of drops of oil in that hole and pivot it around a couple of times and it agree it oil between them two plates right there to make it turn easier. I'm just saying. That front bolster turntable mechanism axle assembly. That's for a one and a half horsepower size right there. I'll clean it up a little bit. Do some metal finishing. Now I'm gonna put that clear coat on that. You know. Bare metal with a shine. Well, to some degree, but some some uh, point of rotation is that short plate there in that top plate, half inch bolt with a shoulder on it, nylon nut. Cars on the handle, clear coat, Harley Davidson grease in the wheels, satin finish on the woodwork. I guess you'd have to list it under what I did today. And even before, man, I'm way, I'm way behind on these engines right here to atone for it. Man, Martin uh, is a patient man. Uh, uh, but anyways, I'm working on it. And uh, I, I, I kind of, I feel like I've worked on this project by inspiration. So I think that means a lot. In the, in the project so you know, that's my part and um, but uh, an ongoing series you know like here on YouTube you know somebody tells you they're going to do something and they put a thumbnail up there it's all kind of catchy and everything I'm just going to give you a tip that upcoming project y'all might be interested in um uh, Upcoming, you know, that's all I'm going to say about it, you know. You know, once you think about it, uh, well, the design will definitely change here, but it's the idea, the concept, uh, like, what, what would it look like if I actually cut that out, painted that, and affixed it to the back of them wheels? which is my, that's my project to do that. But at this point, I'll admit, 
I would question myself as to what material choice would I make that backing disc as a solid piece and then put whatever paint design decoration maybe even a few maybe a hole drilled in it in the center you know had some uh, perspective uh, depth to it even so with all that in mind my project being upcoming now is what to make those what material to use and then how to affix them to the back of that wheel which looks pretty much exactly like the front with a grease fitting offset leave a comment now now we're going to build another circus wagon and we're going to put an engine on it and we done started that project y'all leave a comment as the to-do list comes round engine needs to be on that cart there get that done Now it's time to drill them holes. That's at Emerson, Broughtingham. I think that's two and a half horsepower, I believe it is. Um, kit mess engine. And the other one is a three horsepower international throttle governor engine. And I lined up Martin's engines there. And today's project was to uh, finish up uh, getting them two engines on them two uh, carts right there. At Emerson, Broughtonham, right there. That's a hit and miss engine. And that uh, international three horsepower there. Uh, that's a throttle governor engine. But, kind of looks like a postcard. Yeah. Uh, I probably should make a call and <laughs> get Martin on the way. Started out as one of them welding kits. This one being modified as to a little different size widths and such. Just saying. 